Hello. So um, I might do another vlog today. We'll see. We'll see if I end up doing this. Who knows? So I'm starting the day looking rough. Hey. With the blue hair that's coming out. And um, that's a pile of tat that I've got to deal with today. I've also made a little list of stuff. So these are things I've got to do. So some emails that I've got to send. Uh, email, email, email. Marking. Put stuff in boxes. Photo items, list items, and then things I need to package. Look, I am wearing some punk ass trousers today. I don't normally wear trousers because I don't think they suit me that well. But um, I like tartan, so I'm wearing tartan trousers. But um, I'll probably get showered and wear something else later. Um, that's my cat, Azumi. Azumi biscuits. And um, yeah, that's about it for this morning. I'm going to finish my coffee. Hooray. And um, might make a start and stuff. Yes. Okay. Bye-bye now. This is a fish in a bowl. This is... Um, fluffy his little bowl is um, just a temporary thing obviously while it, uh, his tank is getting cleaned do we give you a little stroke no because that's weird poor thing anyways I'll just put mr. fluffy back over there there we go he's okay I'm gonna do my packaging and stuff so okay um, a scarf from the job lot of stuff I bought ages ago. This owes me nothing. Sold it for £4. This is a lovely necklace. Little like filigree. It's not silver and those things are just, um, I think glass. But um, very early 1900s I think. And I sold it way too cheap. I think I listed it when I didn't really know what it was ages ago. And now I can actually appreciate that it's probably worth a lot more than I sold it for. But it owes me about 50 pence and I sold it for £7.50 I think. These are shoe looks. These are as seen on Dragon's Den. Um, the company went bust so obviously they didn't do very well. But I bought a job lot of these for £20, 40 pairs of them. So 50 pence a pair. I've already made my money back on them and I've got about 30 odd pairs left of these and they fit in a nice envelope as well so easy enough to send and I sell them at did I say four quid each um or was it four pounds sixty including postage so that's okay this is a cool mohair jumper from the 80s this one I paid hmm four pound fifty four and I sold for thirty pounds so that's not bad a pair of lead jeans that were one ninety nine Lee jeans don't sell particularly fast, but they've gone anyway, and I think they were in nice condition, and I think I got £12 for them. This is a dress, again, from the job lot of stuff. This was, um, so it owes me nothing, and I think I sold it for £12, maybe less. No, I might have taken an offer. No, I took an offer of £7 just to get rid, because there were, there were some faults with it as well. So I'm going to package these up, and yeah, fish. Well, hello and welcome to my photography area. So as you can see, this is just the landing on my stairs. So this is where my mannequin is. See? And that's the clothes that I carefully, carefully folded. Absolutely. And over here, I also have that and that for hats. And that's next door. That's up for sale if anybody wants it. And isn't that lovely? It's whales over there. It's whales. It's great, isn't it? That's a duck. Okay. So, if you're wondering how I do photos, which I'm sure all of you are on your the edge of your seat to know, I will take one photo from this angle, and one from this angle, and one from this angle, and one from the back as well. And I will also take a photo of the uh, K label inside, and if it's still got it, the label at the back of the neck as well. Ta-da! Oh, I just I just wanted to stop and and kind of show this little this lovely little um kind of tunic dress top thing that I got. It's 100% silk and I bought it for 1.99. And I think this is superbly lovely, isn't it? I mean, look at these fantastic sleeves. They're awesome. Someone's going to look well cool in that. Festival hashtag #festival. Nice keyword, Karen's keyword. I steal it from her. 
and this is how I'm doing this pair of uh, Levi's dungarees today is I'm putting them on the actual mannequin so on that leg there that's where the pole is running through these are a size 18 so they obviously look a little bit big on a size 8 mannequin anyway but personally I prefer that to them being lying down because I don't have a lot of space to flat lay especially things like trousers and stuff um yeah so this is how I'm doing this and then these are some these are some top shop wide leg trousers that again I bought for 199 I think that looks all right on there actually I'm photographing shoes today just on a plinth here so um, I have got a photography area in my garage but my garage is freezing cold and I don't particularly want to be there so I'm gonna use this why not we all do things our own way don't we right well for lo uh, photography that's not a word photography is pretty much all done I've just got to go back through and edit the pictures on my phone and then I think I've got drafts for most of them but some of them still need measuring and things but that can be done any time over the weekend um, although I probably still will do it today because I was going to go out tonight but being good I'm not going to go out tonight I might stay in and do some marking instead thrilling um, this is my bedroom that's my doll's house that's my lamp that's worth about 300 pounds that we got from a skip hells yeah and um my bed my favorite place this is my book this is a christian lacroix notebook and in that i started to do every night just on a random page i just write and i write whatever's in my brain and that doesn't have to be like creative thoughts or ideas for films or anything like that it's just anything that's kind of um, been on my mind that day. I just write a sentence or two about that and then I put it next to my bed and then I can go to sleep having offloaded the things from my brains. Anyways, I might go and, um, or I should go and have a shower and get dressed and stuff. The plumber's coming around soon. The it's not that exciting. Anyways. So yeah, I'm going to go jump in the shower and get ready and maybe be on the Cellar Ladies Live this afternoon if I can get my stuff together in time. Hello, I'm all um, showered and um, clean and things and I've just got my laptop set up because hopefully I'm going to join the Cellar Ladies Live. Unless they don't want me, obviously. I didn't actually think of that. They might not want me there. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Um... So I think in five minutes to go and I've got a coffee and some salt and vinegar peanuts which are amazing. You should try them one day, they're awesome. So yeah, hopefully you're going to be live in five minutes. Woo! I mean Tuesdays I tend to try and keep eBay free because I do a toddler group in the morning and then in the evening I also do a youth group. So basically I have the afternoon and that is it. So what I'm doing now because I'm really rock and roll is I do the housework on a Tuesday afternoon. That's proper housework, not just washing up and that. Well, that was nice. We just finished on the uh, reseller ladies live thing. That was a cool chat. First time I've actually been on the on that one, I think, and um, that was really nice. Uh, I'd like to do more, um, but it just kind of depends on work because I'm meant to be doing work on a Friday morning now, in the next couple of weeks with um, my normal daytime job. So that's going to suck, but we shall see what happens anyway. You never know, I might be able to wangle it. Uh, right, so now I'm going to get some shoes on and take my post into town and hopefully pick up a job lot of jewellery from one of the charity shops, depending on what tat it is and how much they want for it. But we shall see. Well, that was disappointing. I just went into Bernardo's um, because they said they would sort me out um, a bunch of costume jewellery, you know, like the randoms and brokens and tangled and all that. And fair play, they came up with two, you know, reasonably sized baskets of stuff, but they wanted £100 for the lot. And I went through it and I only found two things that I like, so I just asked if I could buy those two things from there, which I'll show you in a bit. But yeah, that was a shame. That was quite disappointing. Because I was really looking forward to doing a whole, like, oh, I found this, I found that. But no. And apparently they've got someone else that buys jewellery off them now, so I've got competition. But... There's no way I could warrant spending £100 on two boxes of complete tat. As far as I could see, there was nothing really interesting in there. Right, never mind. 
Hello, so I'm back home now, and, um, the, like, I'm a little bit kind of, not upset, well, no, a little bit upset. Like, the manager of that charity shop made me feel, um, didn't make me feel, we choose to feel what we want to feel. Um, his attitude towards me when I didn't purchase that, um, two boxes, I mean, they were decent sized boxes, probably would have been quite a few kilos, maybe about... I don't know, say 10 kilos of jewellery at a push and he wanted 100 to 115 pound for the lot um, and he seemed quite annoyed at me when I didn't actually buy them. He was like, oh, well, you said you wanted lots. I'm like, I said I would buy what you had, but I mean, it's still got to be at a reasonable, pro reasonable price. I've got to be able to look at it and go like, yeah, that's worth 100 pound to me. Um, I mean, it was still, there was nothing particularly genius in there. I only, I went through it and I picked out two things, well, three things that I liked, one of which I then found was broken. So I only actually picked out two things that I genuinely liked from there out of two boxes of stuff and he was expecting me to pay a hundred odd pound for it. And he seemed really quite arsy with me afterwards for not buying it. And I think, I don't think he'll put any aside for me again. Fine. I don't like the guy anyway, I prefer the old manager, she was really cool, but anyway, he used to run the Oxfam in town and now the Oxfam shop is closed down, maybe for a reason. Anyway, oh god, that was me doing, being terribly bitchy, but well, you shouldn't have been arsy with me, I was prepared to give maybe about £70 for the lot, but not like 115 it certainly wasn't worth that. Anyways, what I did buy was this chain and I've had something very similar to that before so that's quite cool like a collar length one and then I bought this which bless them they they all thought was a ring um it's not it's um like you put your lipstick in there and then this is a little compact mirror so you can do your lipstick it should be by Stratton but I can't see Stratton written anywhere on it but that is definitely like something that they would make. But I thought that was cool. So I bought them off him. I also bought, this is quite cool. This big rainbow poncho thing for one ninety nine. I like that one. I'm not sure if it's, it feels like wool. It probably is at least some percentage wool. Let's see. 28% uh, wool and 72 acrylic quality stuff and I bought, I spent way too much on this I shouldn't have, I spent 4 99 on this but it's a Doctor Who tin, it's the anniversary 63 to 93 and it's got a booklet and some videos, videos in original plastic so they're like they're themselves in really good nick and everything, but I definitely spent way too much on that. That's not worth it. I think I just got excited by a tin, because who doesn't get excited by a tin? I don't know. Maybe it was like the guilt of not buying the other stuff that made me spend a fiver on this. I don't know. Okay, and then in another shop I bought a wool, 100% wool berry for a pound. Might keep it. Yeah, I think I will probably. And in another shop again, I bought just a, can hear you, a wooden tray for a pound. Just a little lap tray, which I might keep because it's kind of useful. But then so is everything, so I could just keep everything. God, I'm really kind of annoyed at myself. Why am I annoyed at myself? Gee. Um, and then for one ninety nine, I thought this was really cool. I think it's cast iron. Um, with little chickadees on the top. So a little egg holder. Proper heavy. That was one ninety nine. She was literally just pricing it up as I was in the shop. And I was like, yoink, I love that. Thank you. You're coming home with me. But I think that's dead cute. That might be, end up being kept as well now. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I don't, for some reason, I'm, I'm that is really quite upset me this afternoon. Not because it's a potential source of 
you know, unlimited jewellery funds. But it was the way that I was spoken to by him. Um, yeah. Like, I really quite begrudge that I was willing to spend money on stuff. But I don't like being ripped off or being, you know, made to feel like I should give him that money. Because, anyway. God, that was going to be a proper downer. I can't end the vlog on this. Because that's a real downer. I want to end it on something nice. I'll think of something nice to tell you guys, or show you guys, and I'll come back in a bit once I've... I need a cigarette, but I'm not going to have a cigarette. It's all good. Hello, so before the light fades a little bit, the light is fading outside. Mm. It's such a great view, isn't it, that Texaco garage? It looks so Christmassy. <laughs> Anyway, so what I figured I'd do before the light fades is I'm going to show you to cheer myself up a little bit um, uh, some of the things that I bought for myself this week. Okay, because um, I'm giving up smoking and this has been eight days now, seven days, I think, something like that anyway, that I figure that because I was spending around nine or ten pounds per packet on cigarettes that I can instead spend that money that I save on that on vinyl instead. So I've treated myself to some vinyl. So we'll have a little unvinyling. I mean why not? Okay. So the first thing that I've got, I mean anyone who knows me loves and love knows that I love a dystopian future or a dystopian present, which is what we're living in. So knows that I love Black Mirror and my favourite Black Mirror episode is San Junipero because it's beautiful. My second favourite is White Christmas, my third favourite is White Bear, my fourth favourite is probably Black Museum, and then Be Right Back, and then Entire History of You, um, oh, I, yeah, I, I could literally just talk all day about Black Mirror, I love it. So, let's um, carefully, or not so, um, take the wrapping off, and apparently this is a coloured by, oh, okay, now, the, the cover, the artwork, is done by an artist called Butcher Billy, and I love his stuff, and this has made me super happy. Because, oh, oh, heaven is a place on earth. I love Butcher Billy stuff. He does loads of really cool um, art, um, artwork, lots of David Bowie stuff, and it's very, very cool. So I'm very mm. happy to have that. And then... I think this is meant to be a colour... Oh, it is. It's coloured vinyl. How sexy is this? Wow. Wow. That is beautiful. That is so pretty. So it's not... Um, this is the soundtrack by Clint Mansell. Mansell? That's the name? Clint Mansell. So it's the like the music in between the tracks, if you see what I mean, so it's more the incidental music, which is awesome. I don't think you can buy, you know, the track, with, you know, the soundtrack with Belinda Carlisle and all that on it. There's unofficial ones that you can get on Spotify instead, which is what I've done. But, yeah, I love that. I love that artwork. I think that is beautiful. Okay, next bit of vinyl is a classic from the 90s, one of my all-time favourite albums, which is Porter's Head Dummy. I'm trying to, I'm not replacing all of my albums that I've bought with the vinyl versions because that's just silly because I'll be here forever, that's ridiculous. But albums like this one are ones that I regretted not buying on vinyl when they first came out so now I'm doing it because they really do suit being on vinyl. So there you go, that's the cover and then inside we've got that. So those are all pictures from the Porter's Head like films that they made because they did their music videos like long films or short films really rather than long music videos stroke short films. This isn't a snazzy coloured vinyl this is just your typical black vinyl. I don't know what we expect from that. There we go. Ace. So um, my favourite track on there is Rhodes and Nick Hill would agree with me on that one. It's a beautiful track. It's um, the one that I would be prepared to die to. So there. 
And then the last one is a band called Cigarettes After Sex, which has to be one of my all-time favourite band names. Um, if I if I could be in a band, it would be this one. I wish I'd have thought of this. I wish I was talented enough, a musician, to be able to be in this band or even conceptualise this, because I think they're just gorgeous. Um, if you've seen the TV series Killing Eve, they've done a lot of the tracks that are used on that. Um, I can't remember which one from this is used on it, but yeah. Um, again, this is just plain black vinyl. Oh my God, they've got the lyrics on there. I am totally going to brim full of ash of this and sit there with headphones on and read the lyrics as I listen to this. That's awesome. Yay, happy days. <laughs>